Absolutely incredible. These were so delicious. I had to go for one more. So good. Mexican. Ese es el pecho de la vaca. Ajá, este que te voy a dar. <laughs> oh, chile mexicano. <laughs> Lalo. Daniel, ¿no? Danny boy. Danny boy. Good morning, buenos dias, and welcome to Mexico City. Bienvenidos a la Ciudad de México. I am so excited because today we are doing a Mexico City food tour to discover the best tacos in Mexico's capital city. Mexico City is home to a wide variety of different types of tacos, and today we're going to be chowing down on the 10 most common types you'll find here in this incredible city. My stomach is telling me it's ready, so let's get started. We are starting off the day with some tacos de canasta, which translate to basket tacos. You can find these all over Mexico City and are often served out of a basket. The tortillas are often dipped or even more often drenched in a bath of oil to give it a soft texture. We're going to try these out. This is the frijol or the bean taco. Oh, really good. Really, really soft. So you can see very oily so a very very heavy first meal of the day you never know how spicy the guacamole here is in mexico then i got some chicharron which is like some pork tacos gonna give these a shot oh really really good that was Tacos de Canasta Los Especiales. It is actually right here next to the main square of Mexico City. Each taco, I believe, costs either 8 or 12 pesos. I honestly can't remember. But it's around 50 cents US for one taco. Super, super delicious, and we're going to continue on. ¿Y ustedes venden barbacoa solo en los fines de semana? Fines de semana. ¿Y cuánto tiempo necesita para cocinar la el carne? Pues varía entre seis horas. Seis horas. Gracias. Our next stop here today is to a place called El Toluco, which is a street side taqueria known for their barbacoa tacos or barbecue tacos. And barbecue tacos here in Mexico are taken extremely seriously. Oftentimes you can only find them on the weekends at this place here. You can only find barbacoa tacos on Saturdays and Sundays because they take so long to cook. He was telling me it takes six hours to cook the barbacoa tacos. So we are going to try them here. They look absolutely delicious. Mm. That is so good. The meat is super, super soft. Just like melts in your mouth. Absolutely delicious. Like many tacos here in Mexico, you top the meat with onion, cilantro, and oftentimes some lime. And it is just the perfect combination. So, so good. And you can see here, there's just tons of people sitting on little red tables behind me, enjoying their barbacoa tacos here on Saturday morning. Okay. Wow, okay. Qué chido. <laughs> de aquí sacamos la tortilla. Esta, este tipo de maíz. Sí. Ah, okay. Pues gracias. De nada. So I'm learning here that typically with barbacoa tacos, it comes with a blue corn tortilla. And she was actually just showing me the corn seed that makes the tortilla. Really, really cool. Had no idea. Anyway, really good. <laughs> Gracias, que tengan buen día. And each of those tacos cost 22 pesos, so just about one US dollar, which is a little bit expensive for tacos, but hey, it's slow cooked and they were absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah. 
Look at that bubble. ¿Y qué tipo de carne es? De res. De, de res. De res. Tú no es de la vaca. Este sí, de la vaca Lola. ¿Conoces vaca Lola? ¿Vaca qué? Vaca Lola. Lola. Ajá, Lola. <risa> es un broma, ¿no? <risa> este, este es el que los mata. Es el que trae la carne, es el. Es el carnicero. So our next stop is actually just one block away and I've come to a place called Tacos El Paisa for some Suadero tacos. These are supposed to be absolutely delicious. I mean, just look at this. All of this meat boiling in the hot oil. Oh, this is incredible. Oh my gosh. Ah, pones los tortillas en el aceite. En aceite, sí. Ese es el pecho de la vaca. Ajá, este que te voy a dar. Bueno, este. Para su aero. Ajá, este es el que te voy a dar, ajá. Porque el otro sí es mexicano. Ese sí es. Mexican. Mexican. ¿Cuántos? Sí. Solo dos. Dos, solo dos. Por ahora. Por ahora, mañana ya. <risa> ¿Se voy a salsa? Sí, claro que sí. ¿Esa salsa es picante? Ah. Oh. Chile mexicano. Ok, poquito, poquito. Poquito. Poquito, porque mañana se le pongo. <risa> Sale. Gracias, güey. Gracias, güey. Ah, <risa> Exactamente. <risa> Daniel, Eduardo y Antonio. Antonio. El Toñito. El Toñito. El más puto. Lalo. Lalo. <risa> y Daniel, ¿no? Danny Boy. Danny Boy. Danny ok. Boy. <laughs> I am so excited you can see the meat boiling in the oil and they've been telling me that the meat here is actually the chest of the cow and these suadero tacos are known to be super super smooth just need some lime here cebollita con jalapeño picante también no? a veces más o menos a veces pica el chile a veces no puedo poner un poquito de mi encima de mi tacos Gusto, bueno. yeah. sí, está bien. Sí. I am so excited. You could see him before dipping the tortillas inside the oil, which is supposed to be for the flavor. Oh my gosh, let's see. Mm. These are good. This actually might be my favorite taco so far of the day. Mm. So good, these guys. These guys mean business. These Suadero tacos really, really hit the spot. And I'm not exaggerating at all. These are flipping amazing. Solo <laughs> Ahorita van a salir sus patas, su corazón, el seso también, sus huevos, ajá. ¿Dónde está el seso? Ahorita salen, no te salen, están escondidos. So here we have the entire cow <laughs> boiling in this pot of oily meats. Con el Danny Boy. Con Danny Boy. Whoa, so this is the rest of the cow. Here we are cooking every part of the cow in this pot. And then this is actually the rest of the cow that's not yet in the pot. They make use of absolutely everything here. Oh my gosh. ¿Y qué parte es eso? Pecho. Pecho, pecho. Para suadero. Sí, para suadero. We have a lot of tacos to eat today, but these were so delicious. I had to go for one more. Mm, so good. So, tres as well. Gracias. Buen día. Igual.
those tacos at Tacos El Paisa, <laughs> absolutely incredible. It's gonna be hard to beat those. Even though Mexico City isn't located along the coast, you can still find some delicious tacos mariscos or seafood tacos. There are two main types of seafood tacos. One originates from Baja California and is most commonly a fried fish or shrimp taco. And the other originates from the state of Sinaloa, which is most known for their smoked marlin tacos. I'm here at El Pescadito and essentially you get your tortillas with your fresh fish and then there is a bar to dress up your tacos as you wish with tons of different condiments and toppings. Of course, I got both types, so we are going to give it a shot. First, we will try the Baja style. So this is your fried fish with some pink red cabbage on top. Mm. Super, super good. Nice, white, fried fish. Delicious. And then we are going to try the Sinaloa style taco. So this is a smoked marlin and tuna taco. This thing is stuffed with marlin and tuna. Looks absolutely delicious. Mm. And it is. It definitely has a fishy taste because it's just smoked, but super, super good. If you like seafood, if you like fish, this, this is good. These tacos cost 48 pesos each, which is around two US dollars and 50 cents. Now these are absolutely massive tacos, a little bit more expensive than some of the other types of tacos you'll find in Mexico City, but also really good, really big. We are not even halfway done with our Mexico City taco tour and I am already starting to get full, but I am really, really excited for this next spot. We have made it to a place called Tacos Ola al Guero, which are known for their tacos guisados. Guisado means stew in Spanish. And these are the tacos that are your home cook style tacos, the comfort tacos. So I'm really excited to give them a try. I got bistec, so I got some beef and some green sauce with some beans and rice here. Mm. Super, super good. The meat is really, really tender. You can tell it's made with a lot of love. And this place has actually been serving tacos guisados for over 30 years. So it's a staple here in Mexico City. You know it's an authentic place to get tacos guisados if you have the cazuelas, which are the orange clay pots where you have all of your fillings to fill your taco. It is starting to rain now though. Mexico City in rainy season. But hey, tacos guisados. Mm. So good. Besides the delicious food and tacos, another thing I love about Mexico City is just how green it is. It's a huge bustling city, but there are so many great green spaces inside the city center. All right, now back to tacos. We are inside Mercado Medellin, one of Mexico City's many, many markets, and we are here to find some very special tacos. I feel like it could be a while until we find them because there's a lot going on here, but it'll be worth it. I am sure of that. Venden carnitas todos los días o solo... Sábados. Solo sábados. Un taco de carnitas, por favor. ¿Cuánto tiempo necesita para cocinarla? ¿Cuántas horas? Aproximadamente ocho horas. ¿Ocho horas? Uh. ¿Y cuándo cocinaste? ¿Anoche? ¿Hoy? ¿En la mañana? A las cuatro de la mañana. A las cuatro empezaste. ¡Wow! 
I am here at a place called Meche y Rafael for some carnitas tacos. It is a butcher shop during the week, but on Saturdays and only Saturdays they serve carnitas tacos. So I'm really excited. Gracias. Wow. Here we have all of the add-ons to add to our beautiful carnitas taco. We have our carnitas tacos here. It is a fried pork taco, so definitely not the healthiest, but it should be absolutely delicious. I'm excited. Let's give it a shot. Mmm, that is so good. You can definitely tell this is nice and slowly cooked. He was saying it took eight hours to cook the carnitas this morning. And it's not always easy to find carnitas tacos here in Mexico City because they take so long to make, which is why this place is only open on Saturdays. But let me tell you, it is worth it. And this is one big taco with a lot of meat. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm, usually when I eat tacos, I twist my head instead of the taco, but it'd be so much easier if you just twist the taco instead of twisting your head. Simple thing, but hard to break habits. Alejandro. Alejandro. Mucho gusto, Mateo. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. I've gotten myself a nice fresh fruit juice here. Ah, to let my stomach rest a little bit. I'm getting so full it feels like I've been eating all day because I have been eating all day and I know I've been saying all the tacos are so good but they really are. There's so many different flavors and textures and the carnitas were no exception. One taco was 45 pesos which is a little under $2.50 and yeah it might be a little pricey compared to some other types but hey it took eight hours for them to cook it this morning so definitely worth it. I'm going to enjoy my fruit juice, let my stomach sit a little bit, and continue on because we have a lot more tacos to try here. Gracias. Sí, de nada. Aquí hay cebollita morada sin picante, cualquiera de los dos, no pica. Esta es salsa de habanero. ¿Esta pica? No, no, no pica. Este sí es picante. Originally from the Yucatan Peninsula, Tacos de Cochinita Pibil have made their way here to Mexico City. These tacos are traditionally slow cooked underground in what's called a pib. The meat is pork and it's mixed with a powder called achiote and naranja agria, which is like sour orange, to give it a nice orange color. You often top it with some pickled pink onions. It looks like a really nice taco too, really visually appealing. We are going to give this a shot. Mm, they are very good. Wow. It has a nice sour flavor, but a really tender piece of meat. Super, super good. Because it's slow cooked with all the juices, it's definitely a messy taco, but no clean taco is good. Gracias, buen día. Hasta luego. Ciao. Bye. There are some delicious tacos here in Mercado Medellin, and to be honest, it seemed like it was mostly filled with locals, which is pretty cool, because um, you don't always get that here in Mexico City. Of course, there are a lot of tourists, just like me. Anyway, wow, we have a few more tacos to try. I'm really excited. My stomach is really full, but it'll be good. I am walking around a neighborhood called Roma Norte, which is one of my favorite areas here in Mexico City. There are tons of cafes, restaurants, bars, green spaces, and we are headed to our next taco spot. Traditionally, tacos here in Mexico are centered around meat, but there are a handful of vegan options here in the city, and we are headed to what's known as the king of vegan tacos, a place called Por Siempre Vegano, which means always vegan. Gracias. 
I have my first ever vegan taco here. It's really cool. They have like a bar of other ingredients you can add on to your taco. Of course, all vegan, like black beans, all different types of salsas, potatoes, onions. I have gotten a chimichurri taco here. Really, really good. Oh, a little spicy. To be honest, if no one told me this wasn't meat, I never would have known. And this is just like a really cool little taco stand on the side of the street, like a food truck here. Really good. A nice balanced flavor profile too. And filled to the brim with ingredients. So this taco here costs 20 pesos, which is about one US dollar. And for the amount of food, honestly, it's a really good deal. Even if you aren't vegan and you just want to switch things up for a bit, definitely a great spot with a really cool vibe. We have two more spots left on our Mexico City taco tour and this next one is probably the one I've been looking forward to most all day because it has my favorite type of taco, tacos al pastor. Tacos al Pastor, the Mexico City taco, is a pork taco with a mix of tons of different spices found here in central Mexico. The meat is cooked and rotates slowly around the spit or trumpo, and it's topped with onion, cilantro, pineapple, and of course, some lime. I'm going to give it a shot. This is typically my favorite type of taco. So excited. So good. The mix of the meat and the fresh pineapple. I am here at Tacos Los Parrados, which is known for a variety of different types of tacos, not just their pastor. Each one costs 27 pesos, which is around $1.40 US. So, so good. The pineapple, the pineapple is the trick. Makes it Absolutely incredible. Always has been and always will be my favorite taco. We are en route to our final stop on our Mexico City taco tour. We started eating tacos this morning around 9, 9.30 in the morning. It is now 6.30 in the evening, which means we have been eating tacos all day. No complaints, it's been great, but I am at that point where we are really forcing it with my stomach. One more spot. From Aito Tacos Arabes, we have our final type of taco here in Mexico City, tacos. Arabes. Tacos Arabes are a little bit similar to Tacos Al Pastor in that they are pork rotating around a spit or a trumpo. However, these spices used are completely different. Tacos Arabes originated from Middle Eastern immigrants who came here to Mexico, particularly Lebanese, and they are actually served in a pita instead of a tortilla. The first time we are seeing this today. The tacos come with a green sauce here, and then of course your lime, no taco, even taco arabes are complete without some lime. This is a big taco. It costs 30 pesos, which is, I believe, about $1.50 US. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. We're ending this taco tour on a good note. This is good. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a little bit like a Middle Eastern shawarma, not quite, but similar, and really, really tasty. Wow. This is super different than any taco we've had today. They have all been so unique and so good in their own way. I can't believe I'm still eating. There you have it, the 10 most common types of tacos you'll find here in Mexico City, and that is just scratching the surface of Mexico City's taco scene. I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you learned something, if you liked it, drop a like and subscribe down below if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.